you said that uh, um, these studio tours kind of were just like you were just looking for content and you just call a buddy up. Like yeah. it's evolved obviously a lot since then. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very much like uh, something that is fun to do. You know, it's a great trick to growing your network and meeting new people. Mm-hmm. Um, most people who work in their own studios just show up, they have stuff to do and then the day's over and then that's it. And very few people who work professionally in it are thinking like, oh, you know what? I should make a video and tell people what I'm doing. And and a lot of people think I don't want to do that. Right. But if I come in and I go, hey, I'll do it, you know, and I'll, I'll do a good job and it'll be fun and it'll be brief, mm-hmm. you know, um, I think that's that's been really uh, cool for you know the people who've done it you know it's like oh great yeah you know i've just moved here i don't know that many people it's a good way to get get my name out there and what i'm doing and and i've even had like this this kid who just moved here from new york keyboard player session kid he's been working as an assistant in studios in new york he's like i want to move to nashville but i don't know anyone he he reached out to me and he was like dude, I just went through all your studio tours mm-hmm. and I just reached out to all the people that I thought were cool yeah. from your videos and set up all these lunches and coffees and he got a job with one of them. And, wow, that's cool. And now he's he's there and, and it's like, man, that's so cool that, you know, me just wanting to go in and see what you got, mm-hmm. you know? See, what are you using? How'd you get that? <laughs> what do these sound like, you know? It's crazy the reach that some of the videos have, like even some that we have done i've gotten calls from people in johannesburg and philippines and just people are just like hey will you design remotely and of course we do that all the time and um and just for just for putting out a video it's it's crazy what the opportunities can be i know i would love to to talk a lot more and encourage other people to to put themselves out there because when i in that first year like the first year where people started to watch was 2020 Mm -hmm. And I started getting messages on Instagram from, you know, people I didn't know. And it was, uh, I would screenshot them and I had like a folder of all these because they were so like nice and they were like and very encouraging. And they're like basically all the exact same person. You know, it's like, I'm a drummer. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to record at home. I, I'm thinking about starting a YouTube channel. I want to do remote sessions. And I was showing, I would show my wife because it would be Japan, it would be Brazil, it would be like Germany, just all over the place. And m- m- when I was showing my wife, I was like flipping through. I was like, isn't this crazy? I can't believe that, like people have seen these videos. Yeah. And she's like, look how they all start. And I, and I noticed every single message started with, Hey dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the, that's the language. Hey dude, I love your channel. <laughs> right. That's so awesome. I mean, the, uh, and with the, the studio tours that you do, I'm guessing that when you started, you you were probably doing most of the reach out, uh, reaching out, but I'm guessing you get requests all the time now for, to come yeah. and tour the, their space, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of just like, who do I know? And I didn't know that many people, so it was kind of tricky. And when I would meet someone, you know, it's, you, you just got to kind of get comfortable just being like, hey, I do this thing. You want to do it? And, um, and then eventually I started to get into like you, opportunities present themselves, which is something I didn't see. Mm-hmm. I didn't foresee. Mm-hmm. And, um, when that started to happen, you know, I just started to get to, you know, I did one with Ray Parker Jr. I was yeah. like, what? Yeah. <laughs> and I did one with Bob Claremont and I was like, what? <laughs> we got, uh, I was with a friend, Steve, and he was like, Hey, Bob Clearmount's throwing a party at his house. He's like, we should go. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? The world of my living. Uh, yeah. And, you know, he was such a sweet guy. And <laughs> we were down in his base. He's playing us at most mixes of like Bob Marley and Rolling Stones and stuff. And uh, and he was talking to me. And he was like, you know, you, you ever think like, I don't like anyone. If we did a video of like this place, like anyone would want to see that. And I right. was like, <laughs> yeah. What? Few, tens and tens of people. Would <laughs> yeah, I think that. so, Bob. <laughs> oh my gosh. 